previously, we saw the dude heading towards some lodging that was probably going to be pretty bad, which is how all days in Postal 4 have ended. But this time, it was left somewhat ambiguous. Let's see how it goes. Good morning. It's Thursday. Another cloudy morning. It looks like in the afternoon there may be some blue skies and golden sunshine, but clouds will be with us along the way. Everyone, have a great day. Oh shit. All my stuff's gone. Oh yeah, it's one of those. Somebody must have snuck in and taken it. I wonder if this has anything to do with the sudden disappearance of Champ, too. The dude has to find and rescue Champ more than Mario has to rescue Peach, but this time... This time it's not a brewery full of hillbillies, it's a creepy Texas chainsaw house on a mountain that... is also full of hillbillies. Okay, I'm still shocked that Running With Scissors, this company, put all of this work and detail into these environments. Something tells me I ought to keep quiet around here unless I want to attract a lot of unwanted attention. Ha! Huh. That would be weird. Since I have zero inventory, I gotta take what I can get, which includes this toilet hot dog and this pistol. A shot from this thing would be loud enough to alert anyone in the woods. Maybe I can find a way to hush the blast. I'm sorry, what game am I playing? What game am I playing? Hmm, sure is a lot of wandering pussy around here. Maybe I can make use of that. Okay, yeah, that's postal. Sure is Twin Peaks in here. Not so much on the rest of this mountain, but if you think I'm going to start stealthing my way through a game that allows you to fill people's bathtubs with urine... You have to find three crates with your stuff and open Champ's cage before leaving to start the day proper. So yeah, Thursday actually has five different objectives. I think it might be the jankiest day too, excluding like first release early access Monday. Honestly, just weird things are happening. Not to mention I can't set a resolution properly. You're watching this in 4K with the resolution scaler at 50%. So, you know, technically it's 1080p. You can find the shovel and stun baton if you really want to do the stealth thing, and all these cats. This place has a worse feral cat problem than Hawaii. I mean, if you put a cat on the end of a pistol and... Uh, something is very wrong here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Oh, my man, that's Vince. We got Vince Desi back, looking sharp. You know, all things considered, champ, that was a pretty invigorating morning. Uh, what? I wonder what the rest of the day has in store for us. Whoa, is this about paying for that return ticket? Return ticket? To where? Where are we? You've been up to some crazy shit around town, dude. We know you've been two-timing us with the city. Don't screw with the family. Hey, Vince, you're doing good after I murdered you, after you turned into a Tourette zombie after the apocalypse in paradise that I caused by delivering a nuke to the greasy publisher on your orders. This mob shit is some petty crime by comparison. Vince? Is that you? As a mob boss? I too am offended by this racist caricature, but also I wouldn't want to piss off Vince Desi. It's not like he's some low-rent con man like that piece of shit Mike J living in his toilet palace pretending to make video games when he's really skimming off the top to finance his crippling hentai addiction. Look, fuckface, I'm gonna give you a break. This is your chance to clean up your rack and get in good graces with the family. Look, I will clown around in this game, I will blow up entire towns and release plague dogs, and lay a cat in a drug-induced metamorphosis, but I am not gonna fuck with Vince Desi. I'm not stupid. Now pay attention. Today we're gonna choose a new governor, and we need to protect our interest in the state. So get ready to do your civic duty. Get your ass down to the fucking polling place and vote your conscience. That sounds... Easy. We got a hot new game coming out, but the bad news is the D team is working on it. Oh yeah, I noticed. I need you to go over there and see what the fuck is going on. Listen, the Unreal Engine is a fickle mistress. 
A friend of ours has got a big interest riding on the scooter rally today. Make sure things go the right way. Postal has racing now? Very funny, assholes. We need new management at our biggest spot. The last guy took some time off. Forever. We ain't gonna see him no more. Now head over to the Paradise Casino and do your thing. Listen to me, dude. You gotta do a better job than that last Mama Luke. For your own health's sake. Now get the fuck out of here before I fire your ass. Yeah, because that went so well for you the last two times. I'll get to all that game stuff, but I gotta run some errands first, because even though I got a bunch of my stuff back, I didn't really stock up with what I needed for the day. Here we go, a shotgun, some gasoline, a good start. I, uh... I don't remember this area looking like this. Did something happen to me on that mountain? These trailers have a surprisingly decent amount of weaponry. Ooh, there's a machete. Hey, you. Me? I need a bit of assistance here. Hey, buddy. Want to help out with something? Really? Yep, I'm game. You happen to have a light on you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Do you mind starting this bonfire for us? Alright, I'm gonna get some cash, you know, for drugs before anything, and I know an art dealer who will pay me ten pipes per painting. She's a little confused with the quest giving thing, but you know how art people are. Also, pick up some milk. That's the ticket. Hey, that's my scooter! What is with the people in this town? So I go to the upper class area to rob those houses. They're bound to have cooler stuff. I found one place with a ton of power-ups, but not this house. This house just has a squirty bottle full of piss, I think. Let me look upstairs. Oh, God damn it! This guy asks for my help here. Can you handle a mop, please? Uh, no, forget it. I need someone it. to help paint up the inside before my date gets here. Fine, I'll do it. I'll be a bro. So how bad? Ugh. So we're looking at every single type of bodily fluid you can imagine, except maybe vomit and piss. I didn't see either of those, but it's hard to tell. Lots of blood, like a concerning amount of blood. This is some fucking Charlie work, and I better get paid. Just in the nick of time. My gratitude to you, friend. Here, a reward for luck. I think I'll be getting a bit lucky too. You catch my drift. Yeah, bro, you get that ass. You give her the old- Wait, did you just pay me 25 slices of pizza? Okay, I can see you don't respect the employer-contractor relationship. off all this piss, shit, jizz, and gasoline. I'm just gonna... What? I can't... Uh, I'm stuck? Alright, time for some no-clip. What? How, how did you break no-clip? How does anyone break no-clip? This is transcendent jank! I feel like I should be able to find something fun at the hardware store, us are tools. I think I'm having a stroke. Oh, son of a bitch! You can go on the rides at Cunnyland now, which is something they probably should have implemented for Wednesday, but...
Never mind, I guess it is Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. I haven't picked out my drugs yet. I'm going for the new weapons. One of them is at Town Hall, and I've got a mission there anyway, so I might as well do it. I have to put all my weapons, which apparently this place counts squirt guns full of gasoline and cages of pigeons as weapons. Fucking commie Arizona, am I right? Don't worry, there's weapons inside. The old voting mission, the postal classic. Nothing like a little pick-me-up. Except with this enhanced next generation postal game, we get to hear the candidates for governor and their positions on the issues. As overlord, all will kneel trembling before me and obey my brutal commands. Hey, Meathead, didn't you already say that? To make myself clear, I did not yet agree to disagreeing on the agreed disagreement. Yeah, this dude sucks, and it looks like there's a line for the voting booth. Close enough. Okay, time to grab one of the more interesting weapons in the update. The hunting rifle is on the roof of the town hall, because who would use that for nefarious purposes? I'm just gonna grab a scooter and- OH YOU BITCH! To get the cool stuff, you have to go to the casino area in the center of town, now open to the- Is that a giant stone cock in the pond? Finally, the game has a rocket launcher, which it places fittingly on the altar in a wedding chapel. Fitting? Did I say fitting? I meant why is that there? People getting married in a place like this are usually drunk and not responsible like I am. See, I'm doing crack, which heightens your senses and motor skills. So come on down to Civvy's Medicinal Crack Emporium and get yourself a $10 one-hitter. I'd have to be crazy to sell at those prices. You're also gonna want to grab the Rattler out of this secret spying room in the hotel. It's... Yeah, that. While I'm here, I can do that casino job for Vince. Stop your vice. Roll the dice. Stop your vice. Roll the dice. Stop your vice. Roll the dice. Stop your vice. Time is a flat dice. circle, Stop kids. What should I do? Uh, no. No. Oh, yeah, of course that. Vice. Roll the dice. Stop your vice. Hitchcock would be proud. Stop your I guess that's why they call it homing pigeons. floor and make sure all the clients are happy. Suck some dick, lick an ass, whatever it takes. Remember, happy makes money, and these slot junkies need their fix every day. Take my Looks like we got a clown on the floor that needs a little extra attention. Take no chances. Give him his jackpot right up his ass. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, he's never coming back to spend money in your casino. Hey dude, something real serious needs attention. The boys at account room haven't made a peep all day. So head over there and check on them. What the fuck is going on in the account room? What's the mole account for today? Uh, zero? Zeros? How many fucking zeros? Six? Seven? Attention all gamblers! Pardon our raise, but we've got a full house in hand, and we're not bluffing. That ball of yours is about to deliver us a big payout. Okay, I'm wasting these guys for the puns alone. Also, they're burning the casino down. Dude, listen to me. You gotta get past the fire. Grab the hose, connect it to the main. Put that fucking fire out. What the fuck are you waiting for? Get to the vault, you stupid motherfucker. I'm not gonna be able to monetize this video based entirely on Vince Desi's profanity. What the fuck are you waiting for? Get to the vault, you stupid motherfucker. Dude, I smell smoke. Unless you wanna be one fucking crispy pizza, get your ass in there. These robber fucks are about to steal our money. Oh really? Our money. That away, genius. Good fucking job. Now don't be a greedy fuck, but go ahead and take a bundle of green for yourself. Consider it a tip from me. Wait, so I'm not fired? I don't know what to do in this situation. I mean, Vince not firing me after a job and paying me. I mean, I remember never cashing that check in Postal 2 properly, so I don't know how much- Connect that fucking hose and put that fire out! Uh, Vince?
I'm gonna wait here for someone to just try to steal that scooter. I'm looking at that suspicious dog. Oh no. I Fuck off, pig. On the oh yeah? I've got the perp in view. Um... Get that hose hooked up now, before the whole Put friggin' place goes up in flames. Oh god, I gotta get out of here. I'm only halfway through the day and I'm already confused, frightened, and under the threat of getting whacked if I fuck up. And I have a red outline around me now for some reason. It's time to go to the dazzling world of virtual reality. Amazing! You made it through without a scratch! Oh, and speaking of, try not to get scratched while you're in the game, or sustain any sort of bodily injury at all for that matter. If you see, there's still this one bug we haven't nailed down where- Ooh, let me guess, where the sky and environment volumes aren't placed right, where the resolution changes don't work, where you get stuck underwater and fall through the world, where you get accosted by an invincible super cop, where the intro cutscene takes place outside of time and space, where NVIDIA Shadowplay keeps crapping out while I'm trying to take footage making this video an absolute nightmare to produce. Dying in the game kind of also means dying in real life. But don't worry, we're, uh, just debugging that one. Okay, yeah, you might want to squash that one first. It's time for... Puzzles! My favorite! Some Pac-Man action. I'm really surprised that this game that I'm beta testing is more functional and runs better than the game that I'm playing outside of the game that I'm beta testing. Um, just ignore the care. That's just a, uh, a branching storyline path. Yeah, that's it. But it's not ready for testing yet, so... Please resume the intense gameplay route. Uh, please? Wait! Don't go any further! You're not supposed to be here! Please come back and take the right path! Are you even listening to me? You are leaving the play area! I'm checking the symptom list and ignoring instructions is a clear sign of VR madness. Nah, it's regular madness. I take medication for it. Besides, what are you gonna do about it? Oh, this guy's going postal! Just like in that game! Hatred! I'm starting to think that Vince wanted me to kill everyone involved with any project he's linked to. Not sure how exactly I'm gonna do that in a scooter race. Watch out now. You're getting close to the track. Take the door marked for races only. Hey genius, make sure you check out the layout of the track before you dive right in. Yep, that's a racetrack. You can't bring any hardware to the race. Dump them into that bin, and you can pick them up later. Oh, fuck off. How am I supposed to stop the other racers if I can't kill them? Now, these scooters don't really control well enough for a racing scenario. Do whatever it takes. No fucking excuses, dude. A little blood never hurt anyone. Ah! The collision stops the scooter when I'm several inches away from anything. No, that's fine. Seems like my life is on the line, but yeah, now you do you. This area of the track is basically a kill box. They'll all give you some time right here to slow them down to help the red scooter win. Oh, we are playing for deadsies. Cool. Damn. Stick a fork in the blue racer because he is done. Buy me a heart because the green racer is shooting to the heavens. Do you believe in miracles? There's no time for losers because the red scooter is victorious. Good fucking job, dude. Now get your shit and check your ass out of there before you screw something up. Sure thing, I'll just... What? Oh, God. You still breathing, dude? The family's pleased with your work today. A real gabagool out of ten. Now I need you to tie up some loose ends. Yeah, I'm a little busy, Vince. <laughs> 